Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux latest version in VirtualBox. First of all, we can open the VirtualBox and we can create a new virtual machine here. So since I'm going to install the Kali Linux 64-bit version, I'm going to select the 64-bit here and select next. Here I'm going to give 2 GB of memory. Select next. Here I'm going to create a new virtual hard drive. Here leave it as it is and select next. Here leave it as it is and select next. Here I'm going to select 15 GB of hard disk space and select create. The virtual machine has been created successfully. Now I'm going to start the virtual machine. So here it is asking for the ISO file. I'm going to link it. I'm going to link the system version of the Kali Linux, the latest version 1.1.0a. Select open, select start. So here I'm going to select graphical install to install the Kali Linux. Here I'm going to select the language as the English and the location as the United States and the keyboard layout as a American English. For searching and loading for the additional components. So let's be patient. So it is directing for the network hardware here. Since I'm using the virtual box, it will directly assign the IP address since the virtual box has an inbuilt DHCP server. So it will take much of time to configure the network, you need to be patient and now it is asking for the host name. Let's leave it as it is and select continue and here since I am not going to use any domain name, I am not going to give anything here, select continue. Here I am going to give the password. Select continue. Just set up a clock. So now I'm going to select the Pacific as the clock. 
zone after selecting the club zone it will ask for the disk configuration what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my entire virtual box hard disk to install the Kali Linux so I'm just going to leave it as it is here select continue so I continue and I'm going to leave it as it is here select continue here it is asking to finish the partition and raise the changes to the disk I'm going to leave it as it is and select continue here it is asking for the confirmation for writing the changes to the disk I'm selecting yes here and select continue it is formatting the hard disk and installing so it will take more time to install that is to copy the data to the disk and after that it will start install it will take some time so you can take a break now you can just forward your video to see the next step of the installation The installation is going to finish and now it is asking for the network mirror I am just going to select no it will consume your network bandwidth so I am just going to select no So it has started to install the grub bootloader and it was asking for the 
confirmation to install the grub boot loader to the master boot record I'm just continuing so it is finishing the installation It shows the installation was complete. I'm just going to reboot it. After the restart, the Kali Linux has been started. Now I am going to log in. So 
I'm going to select it as a system default. No, let's log in. So it was taking quite some time to log in since this was the first login attempt which I am making. Uh, it was done. Till the toolbar needs to come. Yeah, it is done. Let's check the the IP address which is configured is ten point zero point IP address which is configured is 10.0.2.15. Let's go to the IP address. So it is pinging. 